You uh, said that he sent you a uh, text message last week asking for spending money. Do you remember, remember getting that text? Yeah, I do. He, he should have sent it to my wife. That's simple. I'm like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> asking the wrong guy on that one. <laughs> you are uh, last. I'm up to 20 a week right now. That's my allowance. <laughs> That's pretty good. So anyways, last week you uh, you signed that contract extension through 2020. I guess if you could just talk a little bit about that decision and you know if this finally ends all the speculation about you ever. Yeah, probably on. not based on history, <laughs> recent history, but uh, uh, you know I, I just feel extremely fortunate, and I always have. I felt uh, very fortunate to come here in 1981, and uh, you know it's just it's. I've enjoyed a lot more days than I haven't, you know, coaching here, in, in both as an assistant and as a uh, head coach, and you know, I'm just uh, thrilled to death. So I'm uh, and, and very appreciative, you know, the the uh, support that Gary Bard and uh, President Mason have shown in our entire staff is, is very appreciate, very much appreciated. And, you know, we're going to do our best to uh, you know, fulfill that uh, that obligation, but we're we're excited to be here. Do you view that as a, a lifetime deal of sorts? Oh, you know, yeah, just I remember first thing that comes to mind is Coach Fry's quote, which he reminded me the other day that, you know, he had a lifetime contract at SMU and they pronounced him legally dead and moved him right out of there. So, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, you know, lifetime in coaching is a season, really. I hope to make it to the end of the year. That's one of my goals.